If you've been playing Naraka Blade Point for the past few days, then you know what a menace the dagger can be. If you want to learn how to use the dagger to style on your opponents, then stick around for the in-depth dagger guide. Hey everyone, it's OSK. In today's video, I'm going to break down the brand new weapon, the dagger, and teach you how to use it effectively in your Naraka Blade Point matches. The dagger can be intimidating at first due to its fast moves and quick style of play, but if you play your cards right, you'll be comboing kids to death in no time. In this video, we'll be covering basic combos, advanced tips, and I'll show a full edited match where I use the dagger to get 15 kills with Yodohime. If you want to learn how to use it in a real match, then stick around all the way to the end. You never know what you might pick up. And if you're ready to get learning with this brand new weapon to Naraka Blade Point, then strap in because here we go. To start, let's just go over the basics. The dagger, of course, has the classic 1-2-3 combo in both directions. And we've got two kinds of focus attacks. Everything is as it should be. Now the big draw to wielding the dagger is the dagger dash ability and the combo potential. Dagger dash allows you to dodge right after an attack and gain golden focus with a focus attack directly after. The horizontal focus dash attack will knock down enemies and the vertical will make you hop into the air where a second vertical attack will let you dive and drive your dagger into your enemy below, knocking down your opponent. Now that about covers the basics, let's get into some advanced tips. For advanced tips, let's talk again about the dagger dash. With the new dagger dash mechanic, you can enter a rotation of abilities that will allow you to move much faster than you normally can by slide hopping or otherwise. To perform the optimal dagger dash, use a vertical attack, dash, horizontal, dash, horizontal, dash, and just repeat the last part of that combo until you run out of stamina. You always want to start the move off with a vertical attack for max movement. This can be very useful for mixing up an approach and getting a different angle on your opponent. It also is all in focus status, so you will not be staggered by normal attacks while performing the move which can open your opponent up to get smacked. The only danger is that if you're attacking immediately after a dash, it will always be that focus attack which can be countered, so be careful when spamming it. My next tip is going to be all about aerial combos with the dagger. The dagger is very unique with its aerial attack speed, and while melee weapons do have lower damage while in the air, the dagger's ability to combo in the air should not be understated. To do an aerial combo, use crouch and a vertical attack to do an uppercut, and then use two horizontal attacks followed by a vertical to drive the dagger down into your enemy. This can be extended further by dropping after the first two attacks, and then quickly repeating the aerial attack pattern right when your opponent touches the ground. The best part about this combo is that it cannot be countered while you are performing it. The uppercut gives you access to all that damage and if you can land an uppercut between all the weapon clashes and focus attacks, you're good for a decent amount of damage. You can also spam the drive down aerial attack if your opponent is too slow to get up. Building off that aerial combo, Yodohime has a really fun time with the dagger and her normal F ability. You may have seen this clip going around Reddit or Twitter with Yodohime, but if you haven't, here you go. Now, how do you perform that combo? Well, it's basically the extended aerial combo, but with her basic ability giving us an extra mid-air uppercut. So you do left, left, uppercut, left, left, F ability, F ability again, left, left, drop down, jump again as they land, and left, left, right to finish it off. That last little icing on the cake damage after the drop down can be pretty tough to land, but if you hit all of it, this combo with a gold dagger did about two and a half normal health bars worth of damage. So yeah, all you need is a dagger and an uppercut with Yodohime. I also did this combo with a gray dagger and still did damage that covered gray armor, a full health bar, and then 20% health after the health bar regenerated in the free practice tool. So it's a very powerful combo exclusive to Yodohime. Hopefully when this combo gets well known, it won't be overly nerfed, right? <laughs> anyway, that about does it for the dagger guide portion of the video. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Naraka Blade Point content if you found the tips helpful, and stick around if you want to see a full game where I put the dagger into action. Attack our enemies, or I shall make you regret it. Die, filth. Oh, 
blade is ready to unsheath. Why do they challenge me? It never ends well for them. Attack our enemies. I love this part. Challenge me. It never ends well. The moment for my vengeance is not yet now.
and the shadow will shortly begin to spread. Unacceptable body count.